And tonight, a new emergency 48-bed health center is open in Portland. This is to treat people battling COVID-19 and to help with hospital capacity. The temporary unit is at the Providence Portland Medical Center. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz joins us live in studio with the process to get it all up and running. Sarah? Well, yeah, Providence says that this new health center opened in partnership with the Oregon Health Authority. It says that this is designed for patients with COVID who need less attention while in the hospital. The 48-bed emergency health center that Providence set up is on the ninth floor of the cancer center. It doesn't look like a, a typical hospital room that we have here, um, but, but in a sense, what they're doing by being up here is the ability to help so many more people in our community get the care that they need also. And so it's not going to look pretty, but it's not going to be any less care at all it's still gonna be the best possible care, um, just in a different setting. When we came in here, it was concrete and like pipes. So just having this huge group come together and build everything from the ground up was a challenge, like the whole thing. I can't think of one thing that was more challenging than the other because everything was a challenge. Providence says it partnered with OHA to open this temporary unit to increase hospital capacity statewide and make sure that patients needing hospital care have access to it. This has not been ideal. Nothing about this whole situation has been ideal, but you know, we're in a situation where uh, we have to do our best to keep the hospital open to be able to make sure that we can provide medical and surgical care to our community. 2020 came to an end. We realized that we had kind of dodged a bullet, we thought, initially. Uh, and then Omicron came roaring in, and we knew we had to do something different. So in 20, at the end of 2021 and into 2022, we started thinking, where else can we put patients? And in 2022, we really realized we needed to use this space. Providence says the ninth floor was left unfinished for future use when the cancer tower opened in 2008. In an early 2020, Providence says it began converting the space into a temporary unit to respond to future surges. I think that the job of healthcare is really to look and see where the need is and make sure that we can fill that need for our communities. And I think we have done that time and time and time again during this pandemic. And Providence says that OHA licensed this space as an emergency health care unit in January to help manage the Omicron surge and has provided help with additional staffing. Reporting live in studio, Sarah Herwitz, Fox 12 Warrior again.